Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Fire Emblem for the Game Boy Advance. This will be part 40, and when we left off, we were about halfway through this mission. We just unlocked uh, Nurgle to fight, like we beat all of his morphs, and now we just have to take down the big dog. Uh, he's a dark druid, which is unique class, which is kind of scurry, and he uses Erishkigal, which is a very strong dark magic spell. He has 30 magic, 30 resistance. So, generally, not great. And, yeah, there's some badness over here. So, question is, we have, like, two boltings left. If I just go up here and try and bolting him, how much is that going to do? It is going to hit him for 11 if it hits. Which is pretty good. Like, that would straight up kill you. But, alright, I don't think it's going to be necessary just yet. Uh, but we will... Ugh, I don't know how we're going to kill him. I mean, we do have Physic on Priscilla. So with Physic and Nils, that means we can get two heals off at a distance where uh, nothing can really threaten us. And now, I don't think that... I don't think Nurgle will, like, come out and attack us. I think he's pretty happy to just sit there. Oh, what's light magic? That's light magic. Wait, what's that? Bruce resisted by five points. Love it. Yeah, Priscilla, do you just want to heal up old old Oswin? Because Oswin could probably just head up front and uh, tank whatever these morphs throw at us. Because everyone else is a little bit ragged, right? Or have I healed everyone? Right, Canis is a little bit ragged. No, in fact, they're all pretty good. I think Durandal is the only one we haven't seen yet, right? And that's because I really don't like Eliwood's uh, upgraded... Like, I don't like his Night Lord class. It also comes super late in the game. Which is kind of shit. Yeah, see, there we go. That's fine. Doesn't get a second attack. That's what we want. We want Osman to just tank that, because he can. And you're just going to hit us with... Ooh, Berserk. Now, he doesn't get to do that till next turn. Ugh. Okay, so we still have some enemies spawning. That's not super scary. Neither is that. Yeah, so if we just go here and go Restore, we'll cure him of Berserk. Easy peasy. We'll go and kill this guy. Yeah, we'll just make sure he's dead so we use the Brave Axe. Because that means Bartra gets two attacks in a row. Which will definitely put to death pretty much anything at this point. In fact, Bartra might even be able to do a serious bit of damage to Nurgle, now that I think about it. Uh, we will dance for for Priscilla and then go and get her to heal Oswin again. Because he's our boy. Oswin's our, our tanky boy. He's just going to be the first one to get smacked by everything. Which is perfectly fine. It's what you want. Although I could get Priscilla to heal Canis and then Canis to heal uh, Oswin. I think might be the way to go. Since he does have a staff as well. That way I'm not, like, wasting heal. Okay, Raven, you can't actually reach... ...our boy yet. That, that druid up there. Um, right, we'll leave Sane down the bottom. With a steel lance, why not? We'll leave... Actually, no, we won't leave... ...our guy down the bottom, because he does have a sword. He'd be better spent up top. Axe, that's perfect, and... I don't know, we'll leave Lynn down here, maybe. She has a bow. That should be not too bad. Alright. Let's see, yeah, I... I don't think Nurgle will come and attack us. And the fact that he hasn't now, kind of tells me you probably won't. Yeah, probably not. 
Okay, sure, just keep berserking. I can just cure that. And this should be the last turn I have to do that, because that druid is, is dying right here, right now. Hmm. Yeah, and remember, uh, if you didn't watch the last episode and you came in like halfway, uh, first of all, what kind of monster are you? Go back and watch the last episode so you get the first half of this this uh, battle. And secondly, uh, if anyone dies in this battle, they are dead. I'm not reloading on any non-critical deaths. So as long as Lynn, Hector, and Elliewood don't die, uh, I don't think Athos is a requirement. So as long as any of those three don't die, they are just dead. So I'm gonna have to be careful if I want everyone to survive. Which, I kinda do want everyone to survive, to be honest. Funny that. <laughs> nice, good dodge. That's what we needed. We need performances like that. I don't know how many times they're gonna spawn, but... Okay, it is only range 1 to 2. But uh, I think we can handle it. Silver Lance for the one-hit kill. Especially if you triple it. Especially if you triple it. Okay, so the trick here is going to be seeing who can actually do damage to Nurgle. Because obviously if we can find someone that does a decent amount of damage and isn't going to die with the, uh, with the Retaliate, we can just use Priscilla to heal them up. So I'm looking at Guy, especially since he can't get crit. I'm looking at Athos, probably. Athos should definitely be able to take take Guard Nurgle. In fact, we could just double bolting him, like, right now. But we'll wait. And then we'll just charge these guys up ahead. Yeah, one damage. One damage with a Silver Lance? Oh, you poor bastard. Ugh, oh no. Oh no, he's gonna do me in. Nah, no, not, not even close. That's just death, is what that is. Nice, that must be S rank, surely. Oh, Armards does give plus five defense. Fair enough, even so. Like, that's 11 damage with 32? These guys are not very good. You can see why they're second string and they didn't come in at the start. They would, uh, they would have died like the chumps that they are immediately. Nice. The rich get richer. It's all 18. Saints Saints did pretty well for us this run. Uh, kill a bow. She'll probably crit. Maybe. Not when it counts though. Okay, she did level up, so she'll probably just dodge this. I think she's maxed out on speed. Yeah, she is. Guess could kill with Elliewood. We can just have a look at Durandal. Look at that thing. It is a monster sword. And he like punches it through their torso. Like this this giant sword that's bigger than he is. That sword's like as long as his horse. That's a long sword. Okay, there we go. So they didn't actually attack at all. So, how are you feeling, guy? Two damage? Not great. Kind of expected better. Uh, we will use Bolting. No, girl. <laughs> Athos, take a good look at me and my tremendous power. Oh, brother, my words are useless. As an old friend, I will fulfill my duty. Yeah, you're gonna... You're gonna try and ping away at him from a distance like an absolute coward. <laughs> but Bartra can do some damage. Yeah, 14. Sorry, um, 8x4 is pretty good. Raven can probably do similar. Yeah, 5x4. Okay, so we can beat the crap out of him. Uh, with everyone except Guy, basically. We'll bring Elliewood up here, probably to deal the finishing blow. That, that seems appropriate. And we'll wait till next turn before we attack. And we might even finish the game today. If not, we're going to have very little left. 
Alright. We'll bring everyone up. We'll just keep them in some sort of formation. Is he going to summon more boys? Nope. Just going to let this happen. Okay, Athos. Bolting his ass. Nice. We got both hits out of the 64%. Can't complain about that. Uh, Elwin, how much can you do? Probably not much, right? You can do 12 at, at almost a guarantee. That's pretty strong. Uh, that is not death. Be prepared. You are to be witness to power that overwhelms all. Yes, he's going to do 43 damage, which is not enough to kill Raven. Actually, Arishka Girl is a pretty cool attack, like... That's... Pretty neat. But yeah, Raven's not gonna die from that. Which is fine. Obviously, the issue could be that... Like, we might not be able to kill him this round. Which would be a problem. And actually, I think that is what is gonna happen here. So I think we just physic him twice. Because yeah, obviously the other issue is that if it's a melee attack, then for me to heal, I have to use physic if I want to be safe. Okay, guy, you just step over this way. Because we can bring Nils up. It's crazy how Nils and Ninian are generally not very good, but like Nils obviously becomes really important in this last last battle, because you always want to have that double attack. That is so important. We are running out of Physic, though. Which is not super great. Okay, how much can you do again? 12. So he did 20 last time, so he's probably going to do 20 again. I was bring him down to 13. Which is quite good. I like how now he'll just get to run train with four attacks in a row. 0% chance to crit though, which is pretty crap. You know, quite unfortunate. Uh, we can probably attack with Athos, right? And use Oriol. Wow, that's, that's a lot of damage. Uh, in fact, Athos can end this right here, right now, but we want Eliwood to end it just so it's thematically correct. So maybe we send Guy in with the Silver Sword and just dice him up a bit? Yeah, we'll do that. Now, obviously, if Guy crits, that would be amazing, but he probably won't. God, such massive attacks. Alright. Eliwood, this is your moment. Don't get killed. Nurgle. So you're here, Elliewood. I thought losing Ninian might distract you. Have you forgotten her so quickly? How heartless. I haven't forgotten. I'll never forget. It was my mistake that killed Ninian. Because of that, I will fight. I will not run away and hide in sorrow. I'm going to put an end to all of this. And that you will. Dead. <laughs> Why? Why must I lose? Ugh. Not like this. I will not die. Like this. With my last breath. Tremble. And... Despair. <laughs> so, as if that wasn't hint enough, and I've kind of implied it, is that there is another part to this chapter. There is part two. It's finished. Yes, at long last. Father. What was that? What on earth? What happened? It can't be. And there we go. He opened the dragon's gate with his last breath. Ah! Oh, the... Are those... Dragons? Nurgle's final warning. This is what he meant. Mother Calamity! If dragons will turn to this world, the continent will be ash in less than a month. This must end at any cost. 
I will stop it. So these are dragons. Look at the size of them. I've got a bad feeling about this. My, my legs are trembling just standing here. There are three of them. I don't know if we can do this. I... We need some kind of help. I'll do what I can. I'll hold the dragons. Strike there. I probably have given, like, Athos a voice that really does not deserve to be that crap for how much of a badass he is. Ah, uh, so powerful. Can I be stopped? Lord Athos, flee! The dragons are getting closer. If we can't stop them here, we are lost. Ah, uh, it's like Bramamond, right? Yeah. Bramamond! Preparations took time. Okay, I require everyone's strength. Gather here the legendary power. Ah, this light! Ah, oh, what? What is it? Look, there! Ta-da! We brought Ninian back. Bring her back. Let the dragon girl's soul be restored. And there we go, we saved Ninian. She's not dead, not completely. Ninian! Ah, oh, Ninian! Where, where am I? Girl with the exalted blood of dragons, use that power to appease them. Ah, it's not possible. Use my power? In this world. Do you not feel it? Your power r returning. What? Ah, yes. I will try. That's enough. I'm sorry. This is not your fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, so she can get rid of two of them, we're stuck with one. No. No more. Ninian! It's okay, she only fainted. My goodness, Ninian. One dragon still remains. Leave the girl to me. I shall tend to her. Chosen ones, you must stop the final dragon. You must save us all! I was gonna say, I don't think we get prepped for this. Alright, so ideally you wanna just kill it in one turn. Which kinda means just throwing ourselves at it. I believe it has 100 health. So the question is, can we beat it? And the answer is, I don't know. Because everyone's not going to do that much damage. Everyone's going to take 37. I don't remember if it does actually move. I think we just have to go at it. Yeah, I think we just have to go at it. Oh, look how cool it is. It's got like a special attack screen and everything. Yeah, so, I think the- I'm pretty sure it has 100 health. Uh, it doesn't tell you how much there is, but I'm pretty sure it's 100. I guess we could check. Hang on, hang on. Why don't we- why don't we check? So if I just Physic- If I just Physic Eliwood twice, it'll break the Physic, but we'll see. She didn't do 37 damage, so we don't really even have to. So let's just end the turn and see what happens. Yeah, because it does appear to only attack like normal. It didn't move there, and it could have moved. I don't believe it does move. So there's that. 
Oh right, but there's spell casters, yeah. Shit, I forgot about that. It's to stop you hanging back like this, like they really want you to just press the attack. Wow, they really hate Nils here. Okay guys, let's just calm down, alright? Okay, Nils will probably die here. No, oh, he's dodging. Wow, interest. Oh, they're putting him to sleep. I was gonna say, interesting. Why are they target Canis? Because he doesn't have actual, like. He doesn't have an actual spell. Okay, but we definitely just wanna, like, kill them here. So, what, what can we do? Steel Bow's literally gonna do nothing. That's not amazing. So I can do 20... Oh yeah, there we go, it's got 86 health. 86 health now, so... Eliwa can do... was it 17? Okay, so let's do the math here. 17 plus... that was 20, I believe, was the highest damage. Yeah. So it's 37. Thirty-seven, maybe like fifty-three. Ugh, this doesn't look good. Now, uh, what I'll do? Okay, Elliewood kind of has to get out of there. Actually, hang. Yeah, we can use like recover, can't we? Recover restores all HP to allies in adjacent spaces. Yeah. So, we'll move you there, we'll move you there, we'll use Recover. That should be like a full heal. Recover's pretty, pretty baller. Yeah. Actually, it doesn't say all HP anyway. Oh, but it doesn't... Okay, adjacent spaces is just like... Any square next to them. So we might get Canis to pick up our Nils. And then we'll just sort of line everyone else up here. Because we want to get everyone in range. Now, I think it only has a range of two. Could definitely be wrong about that. But we might just have to see. Because what I could do is I could put Athos here. And let him get attacked. Let's do that. Let's, let's see what happens. Honestly, if Athos died here, I think he'd be happy. That's like saving the world. Oh, no, there we go. So it can attack three long. Which means Lin will probably die here. Not, not here, but like the next attack will probably kill her. Because she'll probably get targeted by somebody. No? Okay, like... At the moment, our pretty much our only damage dealers are Athos, Lin, Hector, and Eliwood, because they have the legendary weapons of, for killing dragons. So, theoretically, um, because like, yeah, like that's not going to do anything. That's not going to do anything. So, oh, you can use Rex Haster now. Okay, so that hurts him a little. Okay, so yeah, theoretically, if we just keep them alive, if, if these guys want to just target, you know, the ship people, that's that's okay with me. Now, you can't target anybody anymore, because we pushed up. You can't target anyone. So it's just that guy with bolting and the one with sleep. So if I just leave Raven out here as a target, that should be okay. Actually, do you have S rank? Oh, you do. Okay, what if I trade and get Basilikos? Because Basilikos is probably pretty good. Damage 22, how much is Rex Haster? 21, yeah. So you can probably do some damage with Bartra as well. Okay, so it can attack three, up to three squares away. So if I wanted to attack Athos, I have to make sure it's three squares away. Or we, it's at least three squares away. It could even be more. But I'm, we're going to run on the assumption at the moment that it's just three squares away. 
Uh, so one, two, three. So it's like this. So that should just leave Athos to get attacked. Which is what we want. And it seems like that's true. It seems like Athos is the only one getting attacked there. So if we can set it up so that we can kill him in one turn, we can just rush everyone in. And uh, beat up this dragon. Giant beam of light from heaven! I guess he's got 66 health. I believe it's because the health, for whatever reason, uh, it only goes up to 80. Which is like, it's a really weird number, right? But, yeah, I believe the health only goes up to 80 on the bar, which is why the dragon has like question mark super health. Um, right, so what do we got here? You do 17, you'll probably hit. You do 16, you might hit. Does Bartra do any damage with Basilikos? So he does 8. That's only 50% chance, though. That's not great. So he's going to get hit for 37, but he might hit for 8. That, that's not a good trade. Um, right. What do we do here? Let me just rotate out, right? Like, now Hector can attack. Not, not attack, probably. We'll just wait. And then we can move uh, Athos out. Heal him up. Okay, yeah, because the dragon doesn't heal, and I don't believe it gets any reinforcements, like, this is a pretty easy battle once you sort of get the... get, get the rhythm of it. But... It's only if your guys are leveled up, though. Like, only if they're appropriately leveled. If they're not, just good luck doing any damage. Like, you'll get hit for 37 or more every turn and not do anything in return. That's not good. Um, but, like, Hector is pretty leveled up, and he's a strong boy to begin with. So he can hit him for 16. Which doesn't sound like much, but, you know, how many times does 16 go into 100? You know, like, not, not many. And finally, this sage actually got a hit on somebody. Well done, I guess. Uh, but we can obviously immediately undo that. With Canis. Mm -hmm. mm -ba -ba. Uh, so yeah, then we just rotate out Hector. We put Athos back in. And we heal up Hector. So this is the final chapter in the game. This is the very final chapter. This is like, uh, what is it? Light Part 2 or whatever the hell it is. Okay, so we just wait again. Dragonal attack. Uh, Athos, take 20 damage in return. And then he's probably within range to just be, like, ganged up on. Probably in range for me to just rush Priscilla forward. And heal up Athos. The only major complaint I have about Athos's Aureola attack is, man, it takes forever. Like, that's a slow spell. Just in terms of actual animation time. Like, it takes ages to get there. Yeah, you do that. You just keep keep pinging away at everyone with bolting. You're going to run out of that in a minute. And then you can just go screw yourself. I do look forward to playing the next game of this, though. Uh, so he's got 30 health. Actually, will Priscilla even die if she gets attacked? Oh, we have no way of finding out. She doesn't have an attack spell. I think we'll be fine, though. Because uh, Athos can do... Athos can do 30 himself. Sorry, 20 himself. So I think we just send in the Lords. Like, we'll send Eliwood in. To do 17. You know, this would be a team effort of all the, all the Lords that have been here since the start. Which, of course, means if we can manage it, uh, Lynn is going to be the one that, that deals the killing blow. She is Bay, after all. But unfortunately, I don't think she can. I don't think the maths works out there, because Hector... Hector does, what, like, 17? Wasn't it? 16. Yeah, so he'll kill there. Lynn only does, like, 5? Yeah. 
I need to get some Barter in with Basilikos. Or Oswin in. That could work. I wonder if Hector can do damage with any of his other weapons. He is a strong boy. Uh, but then even Oswin couldn't, I guess. I think you do need, like, really good weapons to do damage here. Yeah. yeah. So, Rex Harster will do five. Sounds pretty good to me. Oswin, the only non-lord character doing battle with this dragon. He's got this. You got this, Oswin. Don't be afraid. Okay, well... Well... Don't miss either, though. Okay, we'll let Lin attack, and then we'll give Hector the killing blow, I guess. Ah, oh, that Soul Caddy always bothers me. It's weird that her, like, ultimate weapon is some sort of weird rapier. Rather than, you know, some sort of katana-type deal, which is what she always seems to use before. It's just so weird. Alright, so Hector should get the killing blow. If he doesn't, we have Athos, who's got a 100% chance to hit. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now watch Hector just casually lop him. Yep, there we go. Blah. Really overdramatic death scene. Here we go. Super dead. Elliwood. Elliwood? Lord Elliwood. I'm here. I'm right here. Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally, everything is... Lord Athos. Ah, looks like I've exhausted my strength. I, I'll die before you, friend. I may well follow you soon. For now, I will sleep again. Hollywood, Hector, Lynn. I've lived a long, long time, but now I'm done. Do not grieve. Soon I will be with long absent friends. I have no regrets. Lord Athos. Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lie dying, I see many things. I see the future. Oh, why? Why is this not now? Neither Bramamond nor I will be here to help a land in need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burns. All of Alib will be, once again, a wash in blood. But do not fear. Once again, Lycia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. Lord Athos. Even at the end, he thought of us. Yeah, so obviously because this is like a prequel to the original Fire Emblem. So, um, he's talking about the net, like the original Fire Emblem, but the sequel to this. Lord Athos, it's almost as though he's smiling. This world will once again be enveloped by darkness. I hate that I can't skip this, like I'm pressing my skip button and it's just not working. But at the end... A saving light shall rise. Ninian! Lord Elliwood. I'm so happy. I can't believe you're back. I feel like this is all a dream. Once I lost you, I knew for sure 
I need you. I want you by my side forever. Lord Elliot, I... I must go home. What do you mean? I'm the cause of all of this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Ninian? Here on Alib, we were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Sorry, I banged my desk then. Ow. Even after humans invaded and drove us out. Not a day passed that I did... Sorry, that I did not think of it. I hate how slow this is. I yearn to see it once again. Our homeland. Those children. The fire dragons. They were like me. We knew that it was forbidden. And yet we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long, just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the continent like it was our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Nils, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. God, Elliwood, he's such a, such a good guy, isn't he? Lord Elliwood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together and think about the future. If the entire continent... Sorry, if the entire continent were made a place where dragons and humans could live together. Like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia. What a wonderful world that would be. But that's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we, we can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. God, this is taking so long. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be! Lord Elliwood, I am truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please, don't forget me. Ninian? Come, Nils, let us go. We must return to our world. Ninian, the air of this world. It's changed so much from what we knew. No matter how much time passes, our strength will never return. If we stay here, we will not survive long. Nils? Why do you... But even knowing that, your life will be short. Ninian... You truly wish to remain here, don't you? I understand. Stay here. Stay with Lord Elliwood. Nils? Lord Elliwood? Ninian? No, my sister. Please, cherish her. I will. I will make her happy. I swear it. Nils, you... are you... Hmm? 
I'm going alone. I want to live a long time. I don't have your curiosity. Nils. There we go. Away he goes. Okay then, I'm going. Be well, Nils. I'll miss you. I'll never forget you. Nils. Don't cry, Ninian. Even if we're apart, if we never see each other again, our bond will never, ever be cut. More importantly, sister, live as long and be as happy as you can for as long as you can. And there he goes. Back to back to Dragon World. Nils Thank you, Nils. So sad. Such a sad ending. I mean it's sadder if Elliewood and Ninian don't like get together, because then she leaves as well. Oh, daybreak! Beautiful, isn't it? The start of another day. Oh we go. Okay, well I can't skip all this stuff, so. I will, uh, I'll catch you in a minute. Like, that was the important bit. We'll just skip ahead here and we'll get to the stories of the individual people. So, we'll just skip here. Alright, here we go. The stats. So you can see how many turns we took on each each area. We'll just speed through this a little bit. Do 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 do. How many turns did it take our game? Probably a lot, because, yeah, 686 turns. Because there was that one where we went in the arena a lot. But now we get to see everyone's thing. Marcus returned to Ferre with Elliewood. Actually, hang on, we'll, we'll skip to people we care about. Alright, so Bartra. Bartra continued his quest from country to country. Rumours say he fell in love with his own mortal enemy. Here you go. What's he got? Oswin, impregnable knight. Uh, Oswin served as a vassal to Marquis Ostia. His was a calm, reasonable voice in Lycia's ruling government. There you go, good on him. What's he got? Matthew, thief and spy. Matthew continued his service as a spy for House Ostia. The memory of his beloved Layla lingers on in his heart. Aww. Guy continued in his quest to be the finest swordsman of all sake. His form was so perfected that all called him the Saint of Swords. Pretty neat. Priscilla, secluded princess. Priscilla returned to Etruria's Count Caelion. Her adopted parents met her not with harsh rebukes, but with tears of joy. Which next one will probably be her brother, right? Oh no, Florina. After Lynn abdicated rule of Caelan, Florina returned to Ilia. She remained shy, but this shyness has made her strong. Uh, Sane, the Green Lance. When Ostia took over the rule of Caelan, Sane, Sane resigned and became an independent knight. His love of women is unchanged. What a lad. Raven, sublime mercenary. Raven finished without a word. Oh, sorry, vanished without a word. Many reports have placed him in Arafin, but none could be confirmed. Yeah, we didn't get him together with Priscilla. So we didn't really find out their, like, backstory per se. Canis returned to his family in Ilia. Some years later, he and his wife died trying to stop a snowstorm. His child was raised by his old mother. That's kind of sad. Nils. Nils vanished through the gate in order to seal it from the other side. Those who saw him go will never forget his look of sorrow. Yeah, because Ninian stayed behind. There's our boy Heath, the Wandering Knight. Heath moved to Ilia and became a mercenary of some fame. He fought not for country, but for people in need. Nice. What a lad. Love Heath. Wrath, the Wolf of Sakae. Wrath returned to his tribe in Sake. His deeds earned him warm greetings from his father, the famed Silver Wolf. Athos died in a foreign land. Those who saw his face said that he seemed as though he had, at last, found true peace. Merlinus, the cheery merchant. Merlinus opened a shop in Ostia, but it was forced to close. 
He plans on reopening with some aid from Lord Elliwood himself. He probably would get it too. Lynn. Lynn entrusted Caelan's rule to Ostia and returned to the plains of her birth. She often thinks fondly on the people of Caelan. Hector, General of Ostia. Hector returned to Ostia and became her Marquis. His bond of friendship with Elliwood remained eternally strong. And then we should have Elliwood, I guess. Elliwood and Ninian? Yeah. Because they got, like, together, they get to share one. Elliwood and Ninian were wed after the conflict. Ninian gave up her old life and her people to enjoy a brief life with Elliwood. They have a son named Roy, who will one day take up arms to defend his nation. Yes, that's in the next game. And then Aussie Nerd, the famed genius! Oh, please. Uh, the tactician vanished after the final battle. Burn, Lycia, and Etruria all sought those famed skills, but none ever found the tactician. I disappeared, was never seen again. And that's basically it. So, like, this is just the end cutscene that, like, ties it together to the next game, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so I'll just talk over this. Um, if you're that interested, you can you can read it. So basically, uh, that's the end of Fire Emblem, the first one. It's oh man, I love this game. This this is the game that got me into the Fire Emblem series. This is a game that got me into. I, I would really say this is what got me into turn-based strategy in general. Fire Emblem is amazing. Um, I don't know what I'll play next for Let's Pocket. Uh, obviously, I could play the next Fire Emblem, but I don't know if I will. There's a couple of other little like Game Boy Advance games and Pocket games that I might want to play first. I'm, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, no, thanks thanks for joining me for this massive playthrough. 40 chapters, or sorry, 40 episodes, 30 chapters. It uh, doesn't feel that long when you play it. It really doesn't, but we still got through it in 40 episodes, which is pretty good. Pretty good. But anyway, guys, we're going to leave this episode here and this series. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, your thoughts on Fire Emblem, on Let's Pocket, whether you like the concept, anything like that, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next series. Who knows what it will be? Goodbye.